Scientology has emerged into the 21st century as the fastest growing religious movement on earth. With more than 11,000 churches, missions and groups around the world, Scientology is expanding more rapidly today than at any time in its history. Leading Scientology's international congregation is the ecclesiastical leader of the religion, Mr. David Miscavige. Under his leadership, Scientology is accomplishing the aims and goals of its founder, L. Ron Hubbard. Over the last decade, the Church of Scientology opened dozens of new churches in major cities across the globe. These new churches, referred to as ideal orgs, fulfill the ideal standard established by Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. To achieve this standard in Scientology churches the world over, Mr. Miscavige saw to the establishment of the International Landlord Office and personally supervises the development of each new ideal org, overseeing building selection, design, space planning, staff training, and all the myriad details that make a Scientology church ideal. And ultimately, signifying the completion of each new ideal org, Mr. Miscavige opens its doors to the world. In the last decade alone, more than 40 new ideal churches have opened across six continents. These new ideal churches were established with the aim of bringing the benefits of Dianetics and Scientology to peoples of all nations and all languages. Ideal orgs provide parishioners with a place to receive such benefits through Scientology religious services while serving as a point of coordination and outreach for church-sponsored programs to help people in their community. Many of the Ideal Org buildings are themselves historical monuments, which the church respectfully restores by preserving and honoring the local heritage. The number of new ideal orgs continues to grow. So significant is the opening of an ideal church of Scientology to its surrounding community. The events are attended by religious leaders, scholars, elected officials, and local luminaries. Moreover, as the leader of the International Scientology Congregation, Mr. Miscavige meets with local parishioners and church staff and executives to review future planning. Ideal churches and cultural epicenters across the globe drive one purpose, to make Scientology available and accessible all over the world. To facilitate rapid church expansion came the establishment of Scientology's International Dissemination and Distribution Center. Printing, manufacturing, and shipping materials needed to open and maintain Scientology churches, the 185,000 square foot facility in Los Angeles plays a central role in the religion's rapid expansion. The dissemination center equips every ideal church with custom designed audiovisual systems used in each location's public information center and for hosting seminars and community meetings and its computerized custom mill is dedicated to producing all signature ideal org elements. Here is state-of-the-art computer-aided fabrication capable of equipping a new ideal org every 10 days. This is also where the uniforms for the church staff and executives are customized and delivered. The Dissemination Center produces materials that keep parishioners in over 160 nations informed and magazines in 18 languages to answer the public's interest in Scientology. 
It is also from here that the church is able to provide materials for the growing number of volunteers engaged in the many humanitarian initiatives the church sponsors around the world, producing all the informational and educational materials needed to support the church's humanitarian initiatives, making them available to schools, civic groups, government, law enforcement, and private sector institutions in 18 languages. These initiatives include the world's largest non-governmental drug education and prevention program. The Truth About Drugs campaign has distributed over 60 million drug awareness booklets in 188 nations. The largest non-governmental human rights initiative, which has educated nearly a million people on their inalienable rights and a global campaign to foster morality, reaching more than 100 million people worldwide. This year also heralded the exponential expansion of that help through new drug rehabilitation facilities opened in the United Kingdom, Europe, Latin America, and the United States. All to provide Narconon's acclaimed services to those in their hour of need. Spurring the Church's global expansion, the completion of a monumental project to catalog and certify the religion scripture. A project spanning three decades and involving millions of hours of work, and coordinated by Mr. Miscavige personally. This was carried out under the banner of two projects. First, Golden Age of Knowledge, completed in 2009, capped more than 25 years of research, recovery, restoration, and verification of all manuscripts and recorded lectures from Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. Then, Golden Age of Tech Phase 2, another massive project directed by church founder L. Ron Hubbard to ensure the standard application of all Scientology scriptural material. And to provide this same technology across multiple borders, it is now being made available in over 50 languages. To meet the global demand, Mr. Miscavige also saw to the establishment of a wholly unique facility, building the world's first fully digital publishing house with cutting edge book printing and binding technology. CD manufacturing capability for the mass reproduction of recorded lectures. Quick and economical automated packaging. And all manufactured to answer the need for these materials in even the most remote lands. The state-of-the-art facility was conceived, built, and operates with one purpose. To disseminate the works of L. Ron Hubbard as broadly as possible. The production of these materials, representing more than 24 million words and some 2,500 recorded lectures, signified the monumental completion of projects directed by the Church's founder to ensure the purity, availability, and longevity of the religion into perpetuity. Mr. Miscavige announced the accomplishment over the course of a three-day religious convocation to more than 10,000 Scientologists at FLAG, Scientology Spiritual Headquarters, igniting an unprecedented surge and expansion across the Scientology landscape. To ensure the correct application of Scientology's religious technology in its ideal churches around the world, Golden Age of Tech Phase II also entailed the largest training program in Scientology history. At its completion, certificates were conferred on more than a thousand ecclesiastical staff, coming from every church of Scientology across 37 nations. The historic weekend was crowned by the grand opening of the new Scientology Cathedral, signifying the culmination of a decade of extraordinary and unprecedented expansion. The completion of the 377,000 square foot flag building 
also marks a decade of planning, design, and construction under Mr. Miscavige's supervision to carry out the founder's objective, resulting in a place where L. Ron Hubbard's vision for a spiritual mecca for the Scientology religion has now been realized. Today, at any given time, thousands of Scientologists from around the world are advancing on the path to spiritual enlightenment at the New Flag Cathedral. In the last year, Flag has given more to the community, opening the doors of local humanitarian offices in the fields of volunteerism, morality, drug education and rehabilitation, and human rights places from which church-sponsored programs extend their help in creating a drug-free, crime-free, and safe community for all to live and work in. This is but a glimpse of Scientology today. As the religion continues to grow and expand, its churches service burgeoning communities of Scientologists around the world and introduce more and more people to Dianetics and Scientology every day. Through sponsorship of human rights, drug awareness, and social betterment programs, Churches of Scientology also bring together and help the people of the communities they serve. Fulfilling L. Ron Hubbard's legacy and representing the fastest growing, most dynamic religious movement on Earth.